Kit, how important was it to bounce back after the disappointment of Watford with that fantastic away result at Leeds? Um, yeah, it's really, really important. It was a you know, good performance, good professional performance and great to get a clean sheet after a long time coming a clean sheet away from home. Um, yeah, Watford, you know, Watford's disappointing, but um, it was it was three points lost. It was a poor performance, obviously a, a bad result, but that's what it was, is three points lost. And, um, you know, so I didn't, sort of go over the top about it wasn't best pleased with it as you can imagine but like to think I took a fairly pragmatic approach and you know we bounced back with uh, with three points away at Leeds so of the three games we had two away Brighton Leeds and, and Watford at home you know to come out at those three games with six points is a good return it's not quite how I think most people would have seen the points come in but you know points are points we'll take them however they come and Marcus was suspended for that game. He's back now at the weekend. But Gabor must have put himself in the running with that clean sheet at the weekend too. Yeah, absolutely. It gives a, a decision to make now. Um, yeah, Gabor did very well for us. Uh, but Marcus has been in excellent form, you know, all this season since I've taken over. So it's uh, it's good to have two keepers to to, to choose from who are, are both in good form. And tomorrow's game, an, an important one at the cottage to go into that busy Christmas period. What are you expecting from Sheffield? Yeah, it is. Well, I know Stuart Gray, their manager, very well. When I was caretaker at Palace, Stu came in and, and helped me and we, uh, to take the team and I learned a lot from him. Brilliant coach, fantastic, real good guy, good football person. Um, and meticulous with his organisation as well. So I think you can see from, you know, they've got, you know, one of the best or I think second best defensive record in the league and the best away defensive record in the league. So. They'll be really organised and a very really tough nut to crack. Like I say, Stu's you know, meticulous with his organisation, his planning. Uh, and it, and I'll learn a lot from him. So it'll be, be good to catch up with him tomorrow. But uh, also it'll be good to get the three points. With the games coming thick and fast, have you set yourself a target up until the new new year period? Um, no, not particularly. I've, I've, we've had a meeting with the players and we've, we've set, we have set targets, obviously, uh, which will remain in-house. Um, and we're on track for doing it at the moment. So... You know things are things are going okay, and we just need to keep keep plodding away and and picking up points and hopefully good performances to match. And tell us about the injury situation. I know that you're still without Fernando Amori Bieta and Tim Hoogland. Are there that's any, right. Are there any other knocks or injuries that we should know about? Um, no, that's it really. Um, uh, yeah, now the other boys are all progressing well. Sean Kavanagh's back in full training now. Played 60 minutes against Bill Bow for the, the under 21s. He's doing all right, and uh, yeah, all the all the boys are coming on okay. So you no, know, it's just those two who are still ongoing concerns. Um, it's Tim's, been a while now, isn't no, it? No, has. A yeah. Prognosis for it for when either of them may come back. Well, it's, it's Tim's going to need surgery now. Right. Um, early next week, um, a hernia operation, which will put him out for about three three weeks till he's back fully fit uh, into training but then obviously he's missed a lot of football then so he's almost got to do not not many pre-season as such but it's been another few weeks to get his fitness levels up Fernando we were doing a more conservative uh, approach involving um, a, a course of treatment from a specialist and this is his last week of that treatment now so we'll know more um, the end of next week and hopefully he's going to then be okay and be able to come back into training, so it's fingers crossed on that one. A couple of weeks to go before the silly season of the, the transfer rumours and speculation and already talk in the press about Ross McCormack. I think you just want to put the record straight, Ross McCormack's a Fulham player and you have no interest in selling him. No, no, absolutely not. No, it's, um, you know, all our best players we want to keep at the football club and, and Ross is one of them for sure, so you know, that's certainly not come from... a. Uh, from anywhere within this football club, um, and nor will we be looking to sell him as well. He's he's been he's been in good form for us, playing very well, big part of our team, big part of our squad, and you know we're delighted to have him. And another one of them that's in form, Hugo can't can't stop scoring at the moment. No, he's doing well, Hugo. You know, we spoke about him a little bit lately. He's um, he's one of those wears his heart on his sleeve, and you know he's really enjoying his football. Um, and and banging in the goals, you know. So he's, you know, he's he's doing very well for us. And again, he's another one we're delighted to have on our books. And any more, any acquisitions, any particular positions that you're targeting? I know you won't give me any specifics, but you are looking to invest in that. In yeah, the January window. well, we're looking. I mean, the January window is notoriously um, a, a tricky window, if you like. And uh, so, if if there's the right the right player at the right price, 
great, we'll do it. But quite often it's uh, it can be a bit of a panic market, and I I certainly don't want to go down that road at all. You know, it's uh, it's Mr. Khan's money, but I'll spend it as if it's my own. And you know, you want value for money, and you wanna you wanna enhance the squad and and bring in people that are going to really add value, but for the right price. We wish you luck tomorrow. Thank you very much. Cheers.